we got a pool. I seriously can't believe it. I never thought that I'd have a pool. Like, it just, I don't know. I feel like you always wanted a pool. Yep. You had one growing up. And we always talked about getting one, but we didn't really think that we had room for it. But um, we kind of like signed off our backyard like it's horrible. We had the worst backyard. All it was was wet all the time. So like yeah. dog poop. <laughs> but but that is beautiful. We just concreted the whole thing. Yeah. And it's actually a lot bigger. It's like it's amazing. It's just crazy what some concrete in a pool does. Yep. Um, now it's the ultimate backyard. It is seriously like the ultimate backyard. Like we love it. And we used it every day this summer. I feel like what's crazy is even when he wanted to get a pool, I was like, oh, I just don't know. And now I think I love it more than he does. Like we would swim, you know, Lauren who works for us, her parents live in our cove and we swim at their house all the time. And it's just different when you can just walk but out. all the time was like once a week. Yeah. <laughs> so now you just walk out your back door and the girls go swimming at five o'clock when we get home. Yeah, from so, school. So like every day. It's amazing. Or sometimes in the morning, get up at eight o'clock and go swimming. Yeah, it's just, it's so cool. So we kind of have, ours, our pool experience went through COVID. Yep. And so we, you started, when did you start looking at pools? So March, it was our spring break and that's when COVID hit and we were like quarantined, stuck at home. No Disney, we are supposed to go to yeah. Disney. Didn't go to Disney, um, and I was like, if we're gonna be <laughs> potentially stuck at home indefinitely, I want a pool. <laughs> and you know, this is March, it's still cool outside, it's yeah. springtime. So I was like, maybe we're early enough, we can still get one before summer. And so I start calling around, and most places are two, three months backed up before they can start. And I was wanting one just ASAP. We wanted an Amazon pool. We want it today. Yeah. We want it today. Yeah. You know. And so we've always liked fiberglass pools, and I knew that they were quick for construction. I mean, because basically, once they dig a hole, set one, you're filling it up with water. Yeah. So that's what we were looking for. But um, most of the companies we talked to were going to have to order one, um, and they're like, "Well, if they're not shut down, it's two months." But we yeah. we don't even know if that's for sure. Yeah. And I think people always ask me, one thing I never really knew this, but like fiberglass is big here, but when like people in California are like, what is that? Yeah. I've never seen that. Like they looked at, they like they messaged me like, that's an alien. I've never seen a fiberglass pool. And so it's very normal. For those who don't know, you know, fiberglass, it's a one piece molded pool. So yeah. they bring it in on the back of a truck and set it with a crane. And so your whole pool is just set in place. It's a finished product. Yeah. From you know the inside out is done and i think what i loved about a fiberglass is my dad had a concrete and the dog's nails always bled the girl's toes always got scraped i just love the fiberglass for the feeling of it and the look i just think it looks amazing uh, i think liners the negative is if it rips or it goes out of style or it's like oh i don't like that tile design anymore you know like but who doesn't love blue blue doesn't go out of style so um so yeah so we he called like I feel like everybody. Yeah. Probably about seven different contractors and I would say three of them actually called us back. Um, two showed up. Um, <laughs> for quotes? Yeah, two showed up for quotes. Um, and then one of them was who we ended up using. But... Um, it's kind of even, a favor of the Lord, I think, experience. Yeah, so we started looking in March. Um, then, I, you know, it was April came along and we we're still looking and just, you know, weren't sure what we were going to do. Um, so we've kind of got a timeline here. April 8th, um, the contractor we used called and said, hey, we had a, um, a, pool. a customer cancel due to COVID that, that they were going to install their pool. So we had this one on the lot and, you know, we can pretty much start ASAP. And there was two like that. Yeah. And so we went, we drove to Jackson, which is like 45 minutes away. And cause I didn't, it was, it was kind of like a rush decision. They had like a darker pool that was more like, like not square. Like ours is like rectangle and very modern, I would say. And it's blue and um, the steps were all different. Um, but 
I love this pool. Like we only had two options. I can't imagine like having a book and being like, here's 45 different options. I would have been like, holy moly. I can't, it would have been overwhelming. Yeah. Um, because one thing we learned was like, if you, we wanted the, what's it called? The sun uh, deck? Some call it a tanning ledge. Yeah. It's just a super shallow end. It's like ankle deep. And so we learned most pools, if you get that, you're not going to get a really deep end. Like if you get all the things that you want, it doesn't come in one pool. Yeah. So like you had to prioritize. And sun deck was like number one for me and for Charlie, like having, she loves playing on that thing. Um, and then we thought we wanted a diving board, but you couldn't have that and the sun deck. And plus the two options we had, neither yeah. of them were deep. Um, but we could get a slide, which is amazing. Yep. Um, so I feel like, I mean, it was a hard decision, but like we, we made some compromises and I can't say this is the exact one we would have chosen if given the full book, but I'm extremely happy with it. And they had a pool <laughs> in stock and we've been swimming this summer. Yeah. So that and was I, the number I one I like goal. the lighter color. My dad's pool is real dark and I wanted it to be like paradise. I feel like this is feral paradise back here. It's bright and blue and all the pictures are so pretty and it's, I don't know. One, one thing about this, it has stairs. Down. High five. One thing is it has Can you show us a big jump? stairs all the way across. It's okay. Go. But it also go. has at the deep end where you're gonna see it has like steps go. in every corner. So Charlie knows when we taught her to swim to swim to a corner. So there's no ladders, there's no stairs per se. Just ledges. It's just there's a there's a more or less a seat on every corner, so you can get out from any four corners that's just built into the pool. Yeah. And another hard question was like concrete. So we know we want a lot of concrete, um, but like, do you stamp concrete? What's the other brush? It's like brush or? Uh, like a broom swept. Broom swept. A lot of driveways um, are like that. And uh, I know his concern was the kids like running, like do we, or, you know, at least with a stamp, it's like, you know. It has enough traction to it, but if you fall down, it's not just gonna shred you because it's semi smooth. Yeah. So a lot of people message me about our pool experience and who we use. And we um, we used Aloha Pools out of Jackson. And at the beginning, they were like, quick, 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 quick. Um, and I would even say the whole process, it's still a positive one. I think like communication could have been better. And I think, <laughs> cause that, sometimes me, I'm like, I'm a business owner. I'm like, it's a core value for us. Communication, they need to communicate better. Why aren't they talking to me? And I understand like, especially COVID, and um, just everything that's going on in the world. Like I understand like it rains and all of that, but like, I just want to know, like, we're going to try to come. There's yeah. just like no communication whatsoever. Yeah. None. We might go two weeks without nothing and then they show up. Yeah. Cause they were Today's supposed the day. to- Today's the day. Cause they supposed to start, they told us, so we put the deposit on April 18th and then they were supposed to start. I saw a commercial and they're like, we will have, your Buy a pool in. now and you'll be swimming by Memorial Day. Yes, it was that holiday. And I was like, there's no way. There was no way because they didn't do it. But um, they said they were starting May 1st and they started digging May 20th. Yep. And then, and I have some videos we'll, we'll have Trent add. Um, all of that is in our, on Instagram and our highlights. I have a highlight for pool. Cause we got to, we kind of showed you behind the scenes and all that. I'd never gotten a pool and everybody was so fascinated. They're like, I've never seen that before. <laughs> um, the time lapse and all of that. So started digging May 20th, May 29th, they set in the pool. Um, so, I mean, like within a week, the holes dug, the pools set in the ground and then they start filling it with water immediately. Um, so they were so like, it's fast. <laughs> like it's going, you think you're done now. Yeah, you're like, um, oh, this will be done in no time. Four days later in June, we're, we're actually swimming. Like it's still rocks and dirt around everything. Um, the brace support braces are still in the pool, but you know, there's water in there and we're swimming. <laughs> we're enjoying it. They had uh, some walking beams. Yep. At first we were like, man, why don't pools have this all the time? And then yep. at the end we're like, please get rid of the beams. <laughs> why can't we get rid of the beams? Um, so, Still in June, and I think the thing is, it was just no communication. Like, just tell us it'll be three weeks, or the, and then at the end, I forget where we're going out of town, weren't we? We went somewhere, and they were Probably. supposed to come. No. no. So from basically a whole month, we had a pool, but no concrete. So it was just dirt and rocks, and you know, you're kind of scared, like you're gonna mess it up. Um, but then the 23rd, we finally, praise Jesus, we got concrete, and I think. 
one thing I have to praise about Aloha is their insulation crews were amazing. Those guys worked so hard. The concrete people worked so good. Our only kind of negative feedback would be at the end when the pool was done, the concrete was done, who they sent in to finish up was horrible. Like all the lines are crooked. They didn't clean up their mess. I mean, it was it was really sad because it was like, like everybody else did an A plus plus job. Amazing job. Right up to the end, and then they sent somebody to mess up and close the deal. Didn't know what they were doing, and then they wouldn't like contact us back. So you know, and I feel like being a business, like we're very understanding, and we're like we understand, you know, but just talk to us. Let yep. us know like what we need to do or what's going on, but just lack of communication or like how can we fix this like even us like we make mistakes at Ryan and Rose but like our job as you know customer service is like how can we how can we serve you how can we fix this how can we make this right we are so sorry they didn't really do that <laughs> so so I guess a month we went a month with just no no concrete um, so basically July from May 29th the pool was set so May, the end of May, and we weren't swimming. The pool wasn't ready till July 1st, which I still feel like is very, was pretty good. Well, like for a concrete pool or something, that would be like remarkably fast. Yeah. But at the same time, our neighbors, they got their, they got this whole process done in like 10 days. Yeah. So it can be, it could have went a lot faster. Yeah. And there was just some like communication, like Brett's family like does a lot of, they did heat and air and they, his dad does a lot of construction. So like they called us and like, okay, concrete's coming today. And then they're like, oh, Memphis is out of concrete. And we're like, Memphis is out of concrete? No, Are you cool. sure? And call that, around a few places that's not That like wasn't true. Yeah. So it's like they, and you said you have to set, con, you have to plan for concrete the night before. Yeah. So it was just like communication. You just kind of felt like they weren't telling you all the truth or we just, and I, I, I guess as customers, not everybody's as understanding as us, you know, like, I just want you to tell me the truth. Like what's going on or when's this gonna happen? But um, what's the type of pool? Cause that's the number one question I get. Yeah. It's a fiberglass. It's a fiberglass pool. It's made by Thursday's pool, that's the brand. And the model is an Aspen. It's 35 feet long by 14 foot wide. Um, they have, this, this same model comes in different sizes, different widths and lengths. And um, colors. Yeah, and colors. Um, but I'm real happy with the pool. Yeah, like, I love it. And even like people are like, well, how is the company? I say like overall, we're, we're really happy. It was just how they finished it at the end. Like they could have communicated better and they could have, they need to get new guys at the end. Like, you know, you said so at much. It. At the end of the day, we got a, we got a pool during a pandemic. <laughs> and, we're, Jesus. and we're swimming. And we're happy. And we've used it every day since. Yeah. So it is. Um, All positive. I feel yeah. like you know we're thankful and it's worth it's worth it. It's worth it. So yeah, let us know. We're gonna we'll we'll let you see the girls and what their favorite thing of the pool. Yeah. I know the slide is one thing that he told us that they don't make the slide anymore. And so of course you tell Brett he can't find something. He's gonna <laughs> find it. So we found it. And well, what, well, once we knew we couldn't, when we got this pool, we couldn't have a diving board because you have to have eight and a half feet. So I was like, well, we're getting a slide. And they're really expensive. Like, I think he quoted us like four grand, 4,500 bucks. Um, and it was a lot smaller than this one. So I started looking and I found this one. It's like the biggest residential one they've ever made. It's fast. Um, so I found That's it on. Brett. Yeah. Brett. Big and fast. Uh, I found it on. Yeah. Craigslist. Yeah. It was uh, his kids had just outgrown it and they were moving out and um, so we bought it from him. We had a slide before we had a pool. Yeah so if you backtrack all the way to like <laughs> April. Yeah. <laughs> we had we had it sitting over there in the playground. They actually assembled it as a dry slide. Our neighbors were like what is that? Yeah. Like you could see it from over there. Yeah. But we love it. We I, and I actually love it as a water feature. Yeah. You can hear it running now. Um, it's kind of like a waterfall, waterfall. and we run would, it all the time. I would not have thought that. Just the sound, like coming out here at night and listening to it, just we just need to keep it running. And you said it, you think it keeps the pool cold. Yeah. So like when it's really hot outside, if you leave it running overnight, it helps with the, when the overnight temperatures drop, it helps keep the pool cool. So, we love our pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
You all right? Cutie pool party. I swim. <laughs> Go. Ryan, what's your favorite part of having a pool? Diving toys and playing with the mini boogie boards. Favorite thing jumping into the pool? Yeah, I love the pool. <laughs> <laughs> One thing that people don't know about me and I don't talk about is. Um, one of my only fears in life is like my kids drowning and I don't talk about it because I don't speak that into existence So like when Brett was like, let's get a pool and I was just like okay, I better start praying. So I started praying and I was like, you know, no fear Charlie's gonna learn how to swim. Charlie's gonna learn how to swim. So instead of worrying about it I just started praying really hard and Non-stop that Charlie's just gonna learn how to swim really fast and she did thanks to this guy right here I helped, but Charlie was, she willed her way to swim. Yeah. Like she wanted to swim from the word go. And she just kept trying. She never like cried. And I think seeing Ryan helped. Like yeah. you have a big sister like doing it and seeing it. But you said like you almost felt like, you had to, felt like she was drowning. Like she had to like give I her. I pushed her really, really hard. Like, yeah. I mean, almost to the point I would like let her almost drown. Like honestly, I was right there. I could have grabbed her, but she trusted you. She trusted me, and I had to let. Wouldn't say sink or swim because I let her go a little bit at a time. Yeah. But um, it was hard. Like yeah. there was a few times it, it like it hurt my heart. <laughs> I think like if I'm not here to save her, she could drown. Yeah. But she's a good swimmer. Like she now can swim from any end any in. corner of the pool to the other side by herself. Oh. And I mean, I feel like I trained her like a Marine. Like, <laughs> we just mean, went through SEAL training. She really did. And like, I, I wouldn't want you over here videoing this because like, I would throw her in the middle of the pool. Like, just throw her. She falls to the bottom and has to swim her way back up, come back to me, and I'd throw her in again. And it was kind of like tough love. It was like, you know, if she falls in by herself, now I know she can make it from any area of this pool. No matter how she lands. Yeah, and I think one thing is one thing for you to note is every kid's different. So yeah. like this wouldn't have worked with Ryan. No, like no, no way. <laughs> Charlie, zero chance. Charlie's fearless though. Yeah. So like, you know. Like Ryan went to swimming lessons multiple times, multiple yeah. years. Yeah. And she's an amazing swimmer, but that that same approach we used with Charlie would not have worked with her. Yeah. Even and if we had a pool. And I know everybody was like, "Do you have an alarm?" And I was like, "I got prayer." But also, our, we were, instead of focusing on alarm, we really focused on Charlie swimming. Yeah. Like we'd rather her know how to swim and, and it, like little techniques, like he would teach her whenever, wherever you're at, you go to a corner, you know? So she always knew where she was in the pool. Um, so, I don't know. It's just, it was an, it was, it was an experience, but. Well, I'm not gonna say it wasn't scary. Yeah. But. But she swims. She can Amazing swim now. now. So one of the questions we get, or I get asked a lot, is about the furniture um, that's in our backyard. This was actually a gift from Aunt Brookie. This is from a store in Nashville. I'm sorry, I don't have more information. Um, but Brookie also helped me pick out my furniture, um, as she does with everything else in my life. But I thought I'd show you around. Um, the couch is from West Elm. I love it because it's a little bit modern, but it also has like places where you can put your cups and put your stuff, um, and then it's waterproof, waterproof seat, and, um, and it's not a lot of cushions, it's four, very simple. We also got the table over here, is also from West Elm, and we got rid of the benches inside, so I was kind of excited to bring benches outside. Um, but this has been really, really, really great. Um, so this is West Elm, as well as the loungers on the other side. So that's West Elm. This is Ikea. We love it. I'll let Brett show you how to use it in a second. Very affordable. It like pretty much when the sun goes, goes down, um, it's really hot at, in the afternoon over here, but this blocks like all the whole table. So it's a pretty amazing. And then we also got some chairs over here from Front Gate that I really, 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 really love. Yeah. 
So these are front gate. Um, you can see it's kind of like a plastic material, um, but waterproof. Um, love these. We're waiting on a few more pieces that are back ordered, like two chairs to go on the end of that table. And then like, a, I think I ordered a table to go in, in between the chairs. And then, like I said, these are from West Elm as well. So we decided to go with the double because what's cool, is, or actually all of these, is when you're not using them, you can lay them down flat and like have a big towel. And so it's just really, really, really nice. Um, and I love the gray. It just feels like it goes with the house really well. Um, yeah, I really love these so far. Really, 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 really loved them. So West Elm, it's done really good. <laughs> So my favorite thing is probably the sun deck. I'm not sure if that's the technical term, but it's a, like a shorter, shallow, that's the word, shallow area. And it has stairs all the way across. And Charlie loves to go up and down, up and down, up and down. And it has a little um, step right here. Actually all four corners have steps. It has another bench right here. Oh, where Ryan is using, and then it has a ledge all the way down. Um, and then of course, you know, we're always representing our Courtney Jean, right? Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. Always. We love our Courtney Jean. <laughs> So this right here was just an Amazon find. I liked it a lot because it holds the floats, but it also has a basket back here where I can put goggles and turquoise and mermaids. We have a lot of mermaids that live in this department back here. Um, but I really like this as well. Good job.